Piping Fabrication Tutorial for Beginners, Part for Tenths. Pipe Beveling and Preparation. Welcome back to Technical Studies. In this lesson, we'll learn about one of the most important steps in piping fabrication, pipe beveling and edge preparation. Beveling looks like a small thing, but it directly affects weld penetration, alignment, and even radiography results. By the end of this video, you'll understand bevel types, bevel angles, preparation methods, and inspection points used in real fabrication shops. Purpose of beveling Before welding two pipes together, we must shape their ends properly. A bevel is a sloped edge cut at the pipe end to create a groove for the weld metal. Without proper bevel, the weld cannot penetrate to the root, and chances of incomplete fusion increase. Beveling ensures adequate space for filler metal. Uniform root gap and angle. Easier access for the welder's electrode or TIG torch. Strong, full penetration joint after welding. Codes like ASME B31.3 and ASME Section 9 specify standard bevel angles and tolerances for different wall thicknesses. Types of bevels. Let's look at the most common bevel types used in fabrication. Single V bevel, most common for butt joints. Standard angle is 37.5 degrees plus or minus 2.5 degrees, that's 75 degrees included angle. Used for pipe thickness up to 22 millimeters. Double V bevel, both sides are beveled. Used for thicker pipes to reduce weld volume and distortion. U and W bevel, curved profile instead of straight V. Common in automated welding of heavy wall pipes, saves filler metal. J bevel, one side only curved, used in mechanized or narrow gap welding. Square edge, for thin wall pipes or socket weld joints, usually below 3 mm thickness. Each type is chosen depending on wall thickness, welding process, SMAW, GTAW, saw, and accessibility. Bevel angle and root face. The bevel angle defines how wide the groove opens. A typical value is 37.5 degrees per side, giving enough access for welding. The root face, also called land, is the small flat portion left at the edge, about 1.5 mm to 2 mm, to prevent burn through. For TIG root pass, root face may be slightly less. Maintain the root gap between 1.5 and 3 mm, depending on WPS, welding procedure specification. A proper combination of bevel angle, plus root face, plus root gap, ensures complete penetration and strong weld. Beveling methods. Now, let's see how beveling is done in the shop. Machine bevels. Using a pipe beveling machine or facing machine. It gives uniform angle and smooth surface finish. Best suited for stainless steel and alloy pipes. Grinder bevels for small diameter pipes or retouching. Use an angle grinder fitted with a flap disc or grinding wheel. Always wear PPE, goggles, gloves, and face shield. Gas cut bevels using oxyacetylene torch or plasma cutter. Common for carbon steel large diameter pipes. After gas cutting, edges must be cleaned by grinding to remove oxide layers. Lathe beveling. When pipe length is short, beveling can be done on a lathe for high accuracy. Portable beveling tools. Pneumatic or electric tools with clamping arrangements for on-site jobs. They are quick and maintain uniform angle. Each method must meet the required surface finish, no burns, no slag, no deep grooves. Edge cleaning and preparation. After beveling, edge preparation is equally important before welding. Clean the bevel surface with a wire brush or grinder. 
to remove rust, oil, paint or grease. Wipe the area with thinner or acetone to remove any moisture or oil film. For stainless steel, use dedicated SS wire brushes, never use carbon steel brushes, because they cause contamination. Ensure bevel faces are free from cracks, laminations, and inclusions. Check alignment and root gap with feeler gauge or welding bridge cam gauge. Remember, clean edge equals sound well joint. Inspection and verification. Before welding begins, the QC inspector verifies. Bevel angle within tolerance, plus or minus 2 degrees. Smooth surface, no undercut marks. Root face and root gap as per WPS. Correct pipe identification and heat number, marked on the bevel area. Alignment checked using spirit level and center head. If any deviation, that is more than the allowable tolerance, rebeveling is done. So friends, this is how we prepare and inspect pipe bevels in real fabrication shops. Proper beveling not only makes welding easier but also ensures the long-term safety of the piping system. In the next video, part 5 of our piping fabrication course, we'll discuss fit-up tools and alignment aids. If you found this helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to Technical Studies. See you in the next lesson, stay safe and keep learning.